everyone, it's Claire at Diamond Painting Nerd and welcome to a little kitting down video. So I've recently finished this one. So this is, I've done an unboxing video for this. Um, you'll find that in my unboxing playlist. This is a one that's already pre-mounted on a wooden canvas um, or a wooden frame, should I say. And this one was from the range here in the UK. I love it. I'm going to put this up on my wall in my craft room. Um, so this one is all now finished. So I now have the pleasure of being able to um, kit down the um the drills so i've just got them here in this box okay so um i think i have them all in dmc order so the actual um printed legend that came with the um canvas didn't have the dmc codes on but the bags did um but they were all the pre-sealed bags so i actually just moved them over into ziploc bags just to make it easier i actually completed this canvas just out of the bags as well because i'm short on storage i've got projects going on taken up all of my storage boxes so I just worked from the bags and it was easy enough because excuse me it was just such a small canvas so I'm going to go ahead and um kit down on these so there were 21 colors in total now I'll have my spares my logbook to hand because um, anything where I don't have um, any spares for, I will go ahead and mark them in my um, in my logbook. So let's get started with this. So this is a round kit. So I've recently um, I've recently moved into three boxes. So um, and that is because I've got sp uh, squares and rounds, and I bought a whole load of spare square drills to do some custom paintings with. I've also added these labels, which are from Calb Sparkles on Etsy, and I will link that shop down below. Um, and so all of my bags now have these coordinating stickers on, um, which makes me happy. So I'm going to go ahead and just add these. These are close enough in colour. I'm really trying not to be too picky about mixing because having completed the um, custom not completed but i'm partially uh, of the way through um using my spare drills i can just pick between um the differences in any colors so it's really not been that much of a problem if they're drastically different then no um but if they're close enough then i go with it so i already had some of those so i don't need to mark that in my logbook so then i've got one five nine i have none of these so that that's exciting so i'm going to go ahead and Pop these into this bag and get this open. There we are. These are I don't like these cheaper Ziploc bags, these little grip seal bags, because they are they just cause so much static. So those are in there, and I'll pop those back in the box. And I'm gonna do this as I go along. So um, if you haven't seen this, there is a, a flip through of my uh, logbook. I actually made this myself. It is available to purchase on my Etsy shop as well. So again, that's all linked down below for you if you're interested. Okay, so I'm in the spare drills section. So number 159 in rounds. So I'm going to give that a little tick to say I have some of those now. And moving on. So we have 321. I know I've got some of these. So 321 in red. What's the name of the colour? I love these stickers because they've got the name of the colour on as well. So um makes it a little easier just to make sure that you are putting the right drills in the right bags sometimes. Okay, that's three down. And those are a match. So that was a win. And then I just store my drills um because I don't think I've done a video actually since I've done all three boxes um with all of the labels included um but what i do is i store my drills so my rounds go in front of my squares and then i have them behind each card um, numbered and i've just made these cards myself just using white cardstock um, and a little thermal printer to print the numbers so that's that one done so then we have number 413 i know i've got tons of these i think yep and those are a slightly different color this is a grey and this is more like a brown grey. Do I have another bag? No. Okay. I'm going to make a drastic decision. And if I've got anything, I mean, this is just such a small amount um, that I'm not going to worry about chucking them. So you're probably gasping right now, but um, there's no, there's not enough 
um, there's not enough hours in the day to worry about um, getting rid of drills that don't match. Um, 550, I've already got quite a full bag of 550. So what I'm going to do is I actually have another box um, just where I'm going to store my spares that I can use for um, people that need spare drills. Um, there's a Facebook group called Dr. Got, got Diamonds UK, dot, dot diamonds, uh, Got Diamonds UK, I think it's called, um, and there's people always screaming out for um, spares on there, so I'm keeping these for, actually I'll keep those as well because that might match someone else's 413, um, so I'll pop those in the spares box and share them with others. So number um, 562, where are we? Five, 562 in round i have some of those and the colors match which is handy so we'll pop these in here and get them out of these horrible static grip seal bags that wasn't too bad i suppose i can get that out there we go and 562 pop those back in and then I'll remove these labels because I give the spare bags to my friend. My friend also diamond paints, but she doesn't keep her spares. Um, but what she does is she actually passes them on to me. So I kind of have to keep giving her a supply of grip seal bags um, to <laughs> bring them back to me with. So we've got 606 and 608, 606. And let's just get that one out. I can get my hand in there so just use my tweezers so this is already getting a little tight um but I'm I'm not going into four um I'm just hoping that I can start using some of my spares quicker than what I'm filling them and I haven't completed that many um recently so I haven't actually got a lot to add um to my spares anyway right now so so we'll pop those back in there and then we have the next one, which is uh, number eight, seven, one, eight, seven, plum. Uh, that's squares. That should be, oh, that's squares and that's squares. What's happened here? Seven, one, eight. Oh, okay. So I didn't have, for some reason, if I put those in with the rounds, nope. So for some reason... I've got two bags of square, which match, but I have no rounds, but I've put squares, <clears throat> excuse me, squares into the rounds. So let's move these ones over. Obviously just wasn't concentrating and put the sticker on the um, wrong bag. I don't know why I had two lots of uh, square bags there. But this should mean that I don't have any 718 in round ticked. So let's pop those in there and that back in the box. And let's find 718 to be able to give this one a little tick. Now, what I've done is um, I haven't actually ticked uh, my squares. And the reason I've not done that is because some of them are ticked. Uh, the reason I've not gone ahead and ticked them is because I actually bought a load of spare drills, which you might have seen the video for from Art Dot. Um, and so I should have one of every colour, although it did seem that those didn't always include every DMC colour um, compared to the stickers. So um, I didn't want to go ahead and just tick them because some of those squares don't actually exist in my box at the moment because they're in my custom um, storage uh, for my custom, sorry, my storage for my custom painting. Um, so what I'll do is once I finish that and then I de-kit that, I will then go through my squares and actually tick which ones exist in this box. Um, I just didn't see any point in going through and ticking everything in the squares because I know that there are some missing because A, they didn't come in the art dot drills or B, they were <coughs> um, in my custom. So that's where I'm at with that. So we've got 720. This one's called Orange Spice. And I have a bag for these already. So we'll just add those ones in. In you go, come on. That's what I mean about the static. And I don't want to leave any in here because I want to give these bags to, to my friend. 
so I can have her spare diamonds. Right, 797. So I think we're moving on to the next box. So this one can go. This is box 150 to 741. So pop that on the floor. And then let's get this one out. So 797 is here. Oops. This one's called Royal Blue. And that's a close enough match. And we'll add those in. Oh, I should have put a tray underneath, but never mind. And I'm really sorry if you can hear any whirring noise in the background, but it is rather warm here in the UK at the moment. So um, we have uh, the air con's not on, but the um, we've got the fan going just to try and keep the noise at a minimum. But I'm really sorry if you can hear that in the background. So we have 807 next. And I know I've got some of these because it's ticked in my spares. And this is quite a handy way to have um, a log of what, you, um, what you've got in your stash. So if anybody ever needs any spares, then I generally can go to this for a quick glance to actually see what I've got. It doesn't tell me how many I've got, um, but I can know whether I've got some in my spares or not. So it's quite handy to have a little list. Okay, then we've got 838 and those are here. 838 which is beige brown very dark if you say so brown's just brown to me to be fair i don't really notice much much of a difference when it says beige brown it's brown i'd call this chocolate brown so i'm sure there's one that's already called that right there we are so those can go in and those are done then we have a number 13939 i know i've got tons of these so um nine must be here 939 um let's see these are a lot darker than the ones that i've got i think i've got a mix in here again i'm going to try and squeeze these in because i know that i'm using these in my painting my custom painting and i know that i'm kind of having to pick through the two different shades that are in here as well so i'll add add these in Come on, that last one does not want to get in. Come on. There we are. Okay. And oh, we've got some trash at the top there. Let's I try and just flatten the bag down a little bit before I get the air out so it sits a little nicer in the box. Okay. There we are. So moving on. So we've got 945, which is here, called Tawny. And I think I've got a mix. I have a mix in there already, so and it looks very similar. So I'm going to pop them in. Like I said, you know, I try not to be too picky with the um the, with the drills with the, co the color difference, but <clears throat> sometimes it's drastically different, and that's when I'll have a separate bag. Actually, those match quite well, so that was a good call to put those in. Then we have 3607. So this box is now done because that's 742 to 996. So I'll get my little Mickey Mouse box, which has got my 3000s in. So 3607 is here. No, that's 38. I need 36. 3607. Three, 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 here we go. So this one is Plum Light. And get that open. As we say, and I should really do this over a, a tray, but I like living dangerously. There we are. So those are in. Back in the box. Then we have 3609. And this one's called Plum Ultra Light. I knew this wasn't going to take long. Like I said, there's only 21 colours. And since my drills are now <clears throat> so well organised and in these boxes, it actually takes very little time at all. So then we have 3705. 
<coughs> which is here, which is Melon Dark. So this is an empty bag. So let's turn over to 3705. And we're going to give that a little tick down there. And pop these in. So now I have a few of these. There's not many left from this. There wasn't a great deal left from this painting. Um, so I didn't really expect there to be, to be honest. But there we go. Melon Dark. And then we have three... Um, oh, I missed a 977. Oh, goodness me, I have to go back and do that. Uh, 3804 is 3804. Yeah. <gasps> oh, that's where it's completely different. So 3804, <clears throat> according to this, is this colour. This is not 3804. Um, but that's more 3607. We'll have a little look. Having said that, looking at the colour difference, I've said this before, the colour difference in the um, rounds to the squares just can be completely different. That's a lot closer. Um, but again, we've got three shades going on here. Um, I'm going to go with what I'll probably do. Oh, hang on. 3804 in here. What I'll probably do is I will grab a, I'll grab a bag. I've got a spare bag. Now, I would... Um, sometimes just put them in my spares, but where I'm not convinced that the colour that I've got in there already is the true colour, um, I'm going to grab a bag and then have um, just a variation of that shade. If when I then come to kit down another kit and I've got two shades in here um, and it matches one more than the other, then I get rid of the other drills. Um, so I'm going to try unsuccessfully and peel off this because it's going to tell me it's 3804 I know it says number 19 on it but I'm not going to worry about that so 3804 so I'm going to pop that in as a variation to um, that and then like I said I'll wait for something to come along to um, confirm either way and then 3835 is 3835 right at the front so again well this one's called grape I would agree this is a grape colour. And I'm just going to pop those in here. Jumping around all over the place. Go in with your little grape friends. There we go. So those can go in as well. Um, and then we've got 5200, which is at the back. Uh, Snow White. These are definitely a more white colour than what I've got in here already but I'm not going to worry about that because this bag can just be topped up so let's add them in and hope that when they mix that actually you're not going to notice any difference <sighs> yeah you won't notice so let's pop those back in there Okay, and then I'll just nip back to the other box, which is uh, this one, because I missed 977, so that's here, and that is a golden brown light, and then let's pop those in. And then that is my, come on. Oh no, it's jumped out. There we go. That is my kitting down for my rainbow zebra done. Okay, so that's all of the drills put away. And then as I said, I'll add, um, I'll add those spare ones that I've got in here to um, another box of spares that I have and then I'm just going to have a look at my because I don't even think I did I move it into whips when I was even working oh I don't think I did I put it in completed already where are you I don't know if I have I need to do an update um, on my um, 
on my log book. I also need to put this onto some bigger rings, which I'm probably going to do. Um, I might do a video moving it over to some bigger rings and updating my planner, uh, my log book, sorry. And just see if I actually moved it over into my completed. The Yorkie. Right, it's not there. So let's go back to my inventory sheets. And let's see if I've got a sheet for it. I might not actually have it logged yet. Um, let's see. Initial C. And if I can get these flipped over. This is why I need to put it on bigger rings. Right, Castle and Valley. It's not that one. Palm Tree Sunset. I name my paintings so I know um, what they are. Unicorns. Oops, I put that at the bottom and it should have been at the top. Again, I'm just having a funny five minutes, never mind. Uh, I know that this needs an update because I have definitely got... Yeah, it's not in here. So <clears throat> what I'm going to do is I'll log it, but I need to print the... Um, I need to print print the um, the photo, the images for it, um, and then I'll I'll add an image here for the original image. Um, I could just put this teeny teeny tiny little um, one in um, because it will just save me printing off another image. It's probably not. Let's grab my tape runner. It's not um, the size of the image that I really wanted, but it doesn't really matter. It's only for reference of what the original image was um, was, and then how it finished, and then this will just go in the bin. I won't. I don't keep that. Um, so I think I called this. Did I even log it? I don't think I logged it because it was on a um, a canvas frame. So I'm going to. I'm going to log it here. So I'm going to call it. Is it called Rainbow Unicorns? I've got to be careful because I know there's another one in my. Um, stash that I think I might have called Rainbow Unicorn, Rainbow Elephant. I like a lot of rainbow paintings, that's for sure. Uh, rainbow Birds, Rainbow Waterfall, Rainbow Liquids. Um, perhaps not, so I'm going to write Rainbow... Uh, it's not even a unicorn, is it? It's zebras. Goodness me. Rainbow Zebras. Um, I'm just going to write Pre-Mounted. Um, and the canvas size was 30 by 30. Completion day, I'm not sure. I'm filming on my phone at the moment, so I need to go and find that out. But I'm going to have a little sheet ready. So this one's going to be called Rainbow Zebras. And I'll figure out the start and completion date. If you haven't seen this before, then um, on the front is um, a place to um, just add the title and then just quickly the start and the finish date. And then photos of um, the original canvas and then also a, a photo of the finished project. Um, and then on the back is the full details. So rainbow uh, zebras. The artist's name is not applicable. It's just a <coughs> stock image one that I bought from the range. The canvas size was 30 by, <coughs> excuse me, 30 by 30. It was a partial. Um, it was round drill. There were 20, 21 colours. The box might say how many drills. Let's see, I've got the box here actually. Uh, it just says 8,000 plus crystals, which doesn't actually tell you how many are on the canvas. Uh, let's see if it actually says anywhere. Mm. Nope. Nope. So I'm probably just going to have a guess. Because um, obviously that 8,000 includes the... Um, the extras as well uh, dmc yes although not actually on the canvas so it was poured glue and it was a painting uh, purchased from uh, the range uh, i don't know what day i purchased it but i can go back and look i know that i paid 
£6.99 for it. There was no shipping because I put purchased it in the store. Uh, it wasn't a PR package. Um, I kitted it up on the day that I... Well, I say kitted it up. I added the drills to the bags on the day that I started it so I can uh, fill that in. It wasn't completed for an event. And I've got started and completed on, which I, again, as I said, I'll go back um, and fill those in when I can get the de uh, the details off my phone. And then it's a, a project of painting that I've actually kept. So I just need to go ahead and get the dates, the start and finish dates on this, um, and then just print a photo of the finished project. Um, and then that's my, um, my log completed. So I will move that. So what should happen is it should come from the inventory into the whip section. Now, I think because I did that over like a couple of days, um, I kind of missed that process. And then I'm going to move it into my completed. And I'm kind of doing this, um, doing my completed section by order of, um, in order, in chronological order from when I've completed them. So um, quite a lot of these are um, completed and filled in um, with uh, pictures. Some of them I need to go back um, where I don't have like an original image or um, that one I do. So I've got <clears throat> that one there. I don't have a photograph of the finished image, um, original image. So I just need to kind of go and just do a little bit of housekeeping on this um, and go and get these images and get them printed and add them into my uh, logbook um, like my Harry Potter one I've got a photograph of me holding it up I need a photo of the original image as well and then also in my inventory I have um, I have logs of um, the paintings that I've got in my inventory which I need to update because I've got more paintings than what's listed here um, but I also need original image photos as well and it just makes it a lot easier then um, to hopefully by the end just add a photo of the finished project and then the finished date as well so yeah I do need to do an update on my um, logbook but that will come um, in a separate video so anyway kitting down has been completed for a rainbow zebras how gorgeous is this um, I'm really impressed with the quality no issues with the drills no issue with the stick um, just really really nice and I can't wait to hang this on my wall in my craft room so thanks very much for joining me for today's little kitchen down video as always if you've enjoyed it please give the video a thumbs up um i do notice that a lot of people that watch my videos are not actually subscribed so make sure you hit that subscribe button um and hit the bell notification um that lets you know when i next upload um and drop me any comments in the comment section down below and i'll see you all again next time bye I can feel it. I can feel it.